Hello. How are you? Robbie Richmond here for the Shoot in the Fence post-match your view shenanigans. Uh, Roma uh, scored goals and Liverpool also scored goals and Roma scored more goals than Liverpool. Um, what was the actual score? I can't actually remember. <laughs> they just got a penalty right at the end. And, hey, listen, listen. Uh, other Liverpool fans, how's your rectum right now? Uh, mine t twitching like a rabbit's nose at the end. That was balmy, absolutely balmy game of football. I tell you what, we end up giving away some b weird penalties, as in like penalties that weren't penalties tonight. Well, okay, one was was a penalty. Yeah, go on, I'll give you that. No, it's just his hand twice, two, but like. Oh my God, and Bennett. Penalties. Listen, we're on our way to Kiev, which is in um, Eastern Europe. Dynamo Kiev, home of chicken Kievs and um, potato salad. I don't know. Liverpool have won. Listen. Got there in the end. It's uh, it's a moment where I should be absolutely over the moon. I should be, and I'm sure there are lots of other Liverpool supporters that are. Um, I am a very, very happy boy. I'm really, really proud of our lads. Um, there's so much uh, integrity in in that performance tonight. So Bo's not had a good game. Sadio's had a Brahma. Junior uh, Wijnaldum and Hendo in the middle of the pitch. Wonderful. Just absolutely worked their bollocks off. As, oh, you, listen, like, as a football supporter, doesn't matter who you support, let's just get real. Unless you're in the ground, the chances of you being able to have any sort of impact on the result are zero. All right, if you're watching at home, if you're a football armchair fan like myself, and there's many of us that are, I can't afford to go. I'd love to be there. I can't afford to go. Simple as that, right? But... When you're watching the game, all you can ever truly ask of your lads is that they A, never give up, and two, work their balls off, right? And I've I've said on these videos before about, like, talk sport and, oh, show passion. No, just, just work hard for me. And tonight was all perspiration, some inspiration, and it was wonderful. Just wonderful that somehow we've muddled through. Fair play to Roma, like we said... I said the other day, like, if they if they score if they score four goals, then fucking fair play to them. And by Jove, they did somehow with a lot of help. I ain't saying nothing. Don't want to get stunned in trouble. I ain't saying nothing. Nothing. But I also said, like, if you can stop us from scoring, then good luck. And they couldn't. And uh, Genie Ronaldo, yeah. Big fan of Genie One album. Does loads and loads of stuff that people just don't notice on telly. And you watch him live, you get the chance. To, I've spoken to people that have watched him live, and you go like, "Just Mr. Perpetual Motion." And again, like, honestly, what more can you ever ask of your boys, of your boys, your lads, your team, your boys, than just to absolutely work their bollocks off for one another? Not just for me or for any of the supporters and all that. Just do it for one another sometimes, and that's what's happened tonight. Like, Saints, uh, excuse me, Saints. That's the hat. Um, Liverpool have done that tonight, and um, yeah, they've dug it out, you know. But let's let's be honest. Real Madrid, we've got every chance. We've got every chance. They look awful at the back. I cannot wait to see Mo, who had a poor game tonight and suddenly looks really tired. Um, can't wait to see him running at the uh, Brazilian fullback, Mar Maricino, Marsh, Marsh, Marcelo. Mar Mar yeah, him. dude with the throw, much like Mose. Although Mose is obviously a lot more sort of tidy and well kept, and much more resembling like a scousy bubble perm than the lad that looks like a um, an extra from one of the Fast and Furious films set in Brazil. Fast and Furious Five, by the way. Yeah, I. All right, listen, that's enough of me. I'm over the moon. Uh, you, you, you just can't put into words how wonderful the Tricky Reds have been tonight. It's been a crazy, crazy game of football. 
crazy days, crazy nights. What? Before I forget, Robertson. Jesus Christ. What a player. He was absolutely amazing tonight. I'm so proud of that young lad that uh, has come from Scottish football and he really instills like the ethos of the club. This young lad who's a Scotsman, isn't a scouser, but he's a plastic scouser and he just embodies everything that you want in the club. He's full of heart, full of fire, full of determination and just runs and runs and runs. And he fights for the team and he fights for his teammates and he typifies everything that we're looking for. In, a, in Liverpool lads, Liverpool's players, you know. And I'm I'm just so, so proud of the boys tonight. Absolutely so proud of them. Uh, fingers crossed everything's going to be all right in in Rome. There's not going to be any repercussions or anything like that. Uh, by and large, everything's been okay. Um, we understand there's been absolute nightmare trying to get 5,000 Liverpool supporters through three gates. that They didn't open enough gates because they're trying to kettle us in. There is talk of them staying, of being being told to stay in the stadium till 1am. I don't know if that's 1am Rome time or 1am UK time. Um, madness. Oh, it's just We're just on a madness. We're just on a madness. Uh, yeah, up the tricky reds. And I uh, just want to say thank you to them, really. You know, I'm just I'm just a poor boy, no little as me. Sitting here, watching the football. Really, really proud of our boys. And I, I'm just, yeah, I'll... I can't put it into words. I'm just incredibly, incredibly proud of our lads tonight. So, up the tricky reds. Speak to you the weekend. Say hello.